Here's a video showing our new 4-in-1 camera. This happens to be the 9884 VFG12 model. It is uh, a, your 4-in-1 camera that outputs CVI, analog, TVI, and uh, AHD. So here's the model number of the camera. On the belly of the camera there is a small joystick located under the uh, gray cover. If you do take out that gray cover, please make sure you do replace it back and screw and tighten it all the way so you don't have water leaking into the camera. Now this uh, joystick, you should look at it with this orientation, with the down being down, up being up, and left and right being in the proper direction. If you press up and hold it for six seconds, it will switch to analog. If you press down and hold it for six seconds, it'll switch to CVI. And on the left, it'll switch to HD, and right, it'll switch to TVI. In this case, it's connected to one of our CVI uh, Tribrid DVRs, and I have it on analog mode. So if I were to switch it to a wrong video feed, in this case, I'm going to switch it to the left and hold it for six seconds to AHD, you will see I have no video anymore. That's because it's outputting a video feed that doesn't work with my DVR, and my DVR is actually panicking right now because it keeps flickering the screen. If I put it back on analog by hold it, holding it down for six seconds, it even takes less time. When the camera switches back to a different mode, when you press down and hold it, hold it, or press up and hold it, in this case I'm going to switch to analog by pressing up and holding it, you will see that um, a video signal will come back and you will also hear a small click in the camera. So that tells you the IR cut filter is actually cutting in and out and uh, it's resetting the camera. So in this case, this test is to show you if a power goes out, what happens with the camera. Right now the camera is in analog mode, connected to one of our um, CVI Tribrid DVRs that supports both CVI cameras, analog cameras, and IP cameras. So I'm going to cut the power to the camera. Here, see the power go out. And I'm going to wait about five seconds. And if I connect power back to the camera, it comes back on. And right now it is in analog mode. It did not switch out of analog mode. It retained the settings I gave it. And just to show you, I'll go into the camera and code section. And you see it is in 960H. So now I'm going to show you how to switch the camera to CVI. This happens to output a 1080p. To switch to CVI, I need to press down and hold it for six seconds. And you see the camera switch to a resolution of 1080p. Let's take a look. Here we go. It says 1080p, 30 frames per second. The picture will become much more sharper when, it's, when you compare it to analog mode. So now at CVI, uh, setting. If I disconnect power to the camera, the video will go out, and if I quickly reconnect it, it'll come back on. Or if I wait five seconds, it'll come back on too. The reason we like CVI and analog technology is it's actually proven technology that works. When using AHD cameras or Using uh, TVI, there are certain quirks to that technology, and depending on who makes the DVR, they may not iron out certain issues, like when the camera loses power and comes back on, is it going to sync back to the DVR or not? That's why we recommend CVI DVR or Tribrid CVI DVRs because they can work with analog and CVI cameras and even IP cameras without any issues.